I'm joined by the Australian School Boys captain and, uh, and a fellow flanker, uh, Jack McCalman. So, uh, so Jack, we uh, we certainly had fun on our School Boys trip. We uh, we've heard you've been here for a week now. So, talk us through how the first week's gone. Yeah, so we landed in Heathrow uh, last last Tuesday, I think, and. We spent a night in London there. All, all of us were pretty buggered by then, not, not much sleep on the plane, fit, only a few hours. So we landed there and had a good sleep that night. And since then, we've, we've come over to Cardiff and we've spent uh, spent our time in a, at, with Billets, just in an outer, outer sort of suburb called Carlin. And billeted there, and that's um, it's been so far, it's been it's been fantastic. And we looked after very well by the, by the Billets. Um, been introduced to some pretty pretty chilly weather, but it's been outstanding over here so far in terms of not being wet so uh, no first week's been it's a lot of training we've had our first game against Wales though which didn't get the result we wanted but um, nevertheless we're, we're really enjoying ourselves which is good so uh, looking forward to our game tomorrow our first test yeah. <laughs> So you've got you've got a strong lineup. It's yeah. good to see uh, a bit of consistency there. Yeah, yeah. Um, how are you guys going to go? I mean, give us give us a rundown of uh, of how you're going to go about it. Yeah. Um, so we we have one injury, Andrew Kelly, to our back line, but other than that, we've got a, a full strength side um, from the touring party. Uh, the, the Welsh boys were very uh, structurally very strong uh, in in the A game uh, a few days ago. That strong defensive line. Um, they they cover the full range of the field, so. We're actually going to look to attack that. We feel that um, in doing that, that, they leave a lot of gaps open. We're going to try and exploit that. Um, and we know, and it proved when we did it against Wales, that if we keep the ball in hand and play, keep it really simple, that we'll, uh, we'll beat the black, these blokes. So, yeah, we're pretty confident that we'll do so. Yeah. Um, we're very grateful for you giving up your time. And um, obviously, it's a great buzz for us to come and have our jerseys presented to us by you guys. Obviously, we all aspire to be more like you. Uh, the Europeans do rugby so well, as as, as you'll find out. Um, and so, uh, so how, how have you found, I guess, the culture side of everything, everything off the field, and, and how have the boys kind of reacted to Europe as a whole? Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's different in many aspects, but uh, yeah, probably the greatest thing is just the, the friendliness and uh, sort of the open nature of the, uh, the the people over here, particularly the Welsh so far. The, um, our billets were outstanding. Yeah, they, as I said, they really looked after us. Um, I, I mean. They're obviously different people, but they, they love their footy, um, uh, things like that. So it's, in many ways, it's just been great to meet new people and meet people that are going to um, be lifelong friends. And you know, if they come over to Australia, we can see them, and, and obviously vice versa if we come back over here. But uh, the, the culture of this place, while well, it's different, it's been uh, it's been a, a nice difference and something I think all the boys have really appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's great. I mean, one thing that's really stuck out for me as a schoolboy is the, the mates and memories that, that come from it. So uh, from... From all of us here, uh, from the Wallabies, mate, we wish you all the best. It's it's a great five weeks ahead. You'll uh, you'll hopefully dust these blokes tomorrow night, and, uh, and that'll set the strides for the tour. So, Jack, all the best, and uh, and pass on to the boys. Yeah, sweet. Thank you very much. Good man.